In this step of building a pure stock race car, we'll be showing how to do the door posts and the diagonal braces for the passenger side and also the window post going up to the halo. So here I used a plumb bob to drop down off of the dash bar to figure out where I needed to cut a hole in the floor. So I'm cutting a hole through finding the subframe. Earlier we had braced the subframe together and um, a little bit farther forward is where the door post is going to go straight down. Trish was there cleaning the undercoat and dirt off of it with a torch and a wire brush so we can get a nice weld. It's just a vertical bar that uh, will uh, be a pivot point for uh, our diagonal braces and transfer some energy from the halo down. Uh, just doing some fitting. It was a little complicated because there's a couple bars coming together at that point. And so the dash bar comes across and then there's the brace that runs all the way to the front. Yeah, I used the plumb bob to make sure it was vertical. I went ahead and welded it completely around since there was going to be other bars in here. I had to relieve the, relieve the floor a little bit more because I couldn't get in there with the welder. So now I'm measuring for the diagonal. And so as many triangles as you can put into the car, the better, because the triangle is going to be the strongest shape. So this bar is going to prevent the car from bending around the center. It doesn't do much for twisting but it keeps the, bar, the car from bending um, up or down. So I went past a little bit too quick there. But down in the lower left corner, I'm getting a little bit of free gusseting by cutting the tip of the pipe off so I'd catch the roll bar that was going up and the subframe brace. I'm also bringing the upper right close to the the horizontal brace that goes forward so I could tie the door bar and the brace together with this diagonal brace. So now I'm relieving a hole in the floor so I can bring a diagonal up from the subframe. So I'm going to try to tie in to where the subframe just starts its bend. So the subframe is is flat going forward and then it curves down and goes under where the passenger seat was. It's kind of a weak point and I try to keep that from rotating in a collision and bending there. Again, more complicated fitting here, a couple pipes coming together. So you can see how this pipe coming up is going to transfer energy into the other diagonal brace down and it's going to rotate around the door post. It's a very strong structure. You can make it even stronger if you felt like it by running the diagonal um, and making an X in the other direction. Probably not necessary. And we don't have to make this side nearly as strong as the other because there's so much material between the driver and the passenger side. There's going to be a lot more bars in there. And plus, it's to our advantage to keep all the way to the left. Right now we're going another brace that's going to tie in just a bit in front of the diagonal down that was behind that bend. So we we'll make another triangle in the front to brace the front. Again, all these structures that we're making aren't going to prevent the car from twisting. So in later videos, we're going to show how to uh, put some braces in there to keep the car from twisting around this axis that, if you imagine it going through the crankshaft of the engine, clear through the car. So the car will like to twist in that direction, especially in collisions where you hit one corner. But up and down, this is going to be very rigid. Now this is just the, the window bar 
It goes up to the halo, very much like the other side. On this one we probably won't put the, the vent window brace, not very necessary. Again, I'm trying to tie it into all these joints and, and stitch them all together with, with each pipe. It's a little bit different than, say, the door bar where we're trying to avoid heat. It's a little less critical. That's about it for this. I'm just going to finish fitting this and weld it in. So keep your eyes open for the next video. Subscribe. Uh, maybe a quite a while before the next video comes. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, there we go. Welding it all in there. Alright, bye.